Carboxylic acids have a very rich chemistry and this is because they can not only act as acids but they can also act as bases. So in this lecture we're going to focus primarily on the ability of carboxylic acids to act as bronzedillary acids, Lewis acids, as well as Lewis bases. And let's begin with bronzedillary acids. So carboxylic acids have a much higher acidity, they're much better at donating an H atom than let's say alcohol molecules or carbonyl compounds. And to see why, let's take a look at the following diagram. So let's suppose we have some type of base, some type of bronsted Lowry base that can basically take away an H atom. So let's compare the acidity of alcohol, the carbonyl compound shown here and our carboxylic acid. So in the case of the alcohol, it's pretty simple because when the base deprotonates the H atom, we form the alkoxide and the alkoxide is not resonance stabilized. So alcohols do not act as very good bronzedillary acids compared to carbonyl compounds as well as carboxylic acids. But carboxylic acids are still better bronzedillary acids and have a higher acidity than carbonyl compounds. Now why is that? Well, let's suppose we have the hydroxide deprotonates our alpha carbon forming this resin stabilized structure and we have the same hydroxide deprotonating this hydroxyl group of our carboxylic acid to form these resin stabilized structures. So the answer that basically helps us explain why this is a better acid than the carbonyl compound lies in these resonance stabilized structures. So notice that in this case we have two electronegative oxygen atoms and notice that here we only have one. So on this structure we have a negative charge on an electropositive carbon but in this case we have a negative charge on an electronegative atom, the oxygen atom. Now in this case, one of these atoms is oxygen, the other is still carbon, while in this case, two of these atoms are electronegative oxygens. So we see that these form much more stabilized intermediates than, the, than this pathway and that's, exactly, and that's exactly why the carboxylic acid is much better at essentially donating an H atom than our carbonyl compound. So once again, when alcohol is deprotonated, it does not form a resonance stabilized intermediate while both carbonyl compounds and carboxylic acids do. That's why these are better at donating than our alcohol. However, the carboxylate, which is this intermediate here, the carboxylate ion contains the negative charges that are focused on our electronegative oxygen atoms while in this case we only have one electronegative oxygen atom and that is why carboxylic acids have a much higher acidity and a lower pKa than our carbonyl groups. Now we can actually increase the acidity of carboxylic acid and decrease the pKa by adding electron withdrawing groups or electron withdrawing atoms onto the alpha carbon of the carboxylic acid. And to see why and what we mean by that, let's take a look at the following section. So electron withdrawing groups attached to the alpha carbon of carboxylic acids increases their acidity. So why is that true? Well, let's suppose we take our H atom, one of the H atoms of the alpha carbon of this carboxylic acid and replace it with an electron withdrawing group, let's suppose a halogen, this chloride. Notice, because the chloride is more electronegative than carbon, it will withdraw some of that electron density from that carbon, placing a partial positive on the carbon and a partial negative on that chloride. And in, in this creates an electric dipole moment that points from the carbon and towards our 
a chloride atom. Now, when the hydroxide deprotonates our H from the hydroxyl group of the carboxylic acid, we form our resonance stabilized structure, the carboxylate ion. And notice that on the carboxylate ion, we have negative charges on both of these oxygens. And because we have negative charges here, forming a partial positive on, the, on this alpha carbon is actually a stabilizing effect and will act to stabilize the negative charges on these oxygens. And so the energy of this will be lower and this will be thermodynamically more stable than if this chloride was a simple H atom. So once again, the electronegative chloride atom creates an electric dipole moment that places a partial positive charge on the alpha carbon and this plays a role to stabilize the resonance stabilized intermediate. So by adding electron withdrawing groups to the alpha carbon, we actually increase the acidity and lower the pKa of our uh, carboxylic acids. Now, carboxylic acids do not only act as bronsted Lowry acids, they can also behave as Lewis acids. Remember, Lewis acids are those molecules that are capable of donating an empty orbital to react with a Lewis base that contains a filled orbital. So the carbonyl group of carboxylic acids can donate its pi anti-bonding molecular orbital that is usually empty and therefore can act as Lewis acids with nucleophiles that behave as the Lewis bases. For example, let's suppose we have a base that deprotonates the H, uh, the H of our hydroxy group to form this molecule here, basically our carboxylate ion. Now, because the carboxylate ion contains a carbon-oxygen double bond, a nucleophile, the Lewis base, can react with this carbon here. In fact, it reacts with our empty pi anti-bonding molecular orbital, and we form the following dianion. So we have our negative charges on these two electronegative oxygen atoms. So we see that carboxylic acids do not only act as bronstillary acids, acids, they can also act as our Lewis acids. Now, finally, we can see that our carboxylic acids can, al can also behave as Lewis bases. That is, they can donate an extra lone pair of electrons because they have a filled orbital. So let's suppose we have the following molecule here, our uh, carboxylic acid, and it reacts in the presence of hydronium, our acid. Now, this molecule has two locations that it can basically donate. So either this oxygen can donate a lone pair of electrons or this oxygen can donate a lone pair of electrons. Now, th if this oxygen donates a lone pair of electrons and grabs the H atom from our acid, from the hydronium, it will not form a resonance stabilized structure. But if this oxygen, if the oxygen of the carbon and oxygen double bond donates these lone pair of electrons, it will form a resonance stabilized structure on which we have a delocalization of positive charge. And this, of course, will act to stabilize this intermediate.